In the last video, we learned about defining a sequence using a recurrence relation. When a sequence is defined recursively, its terms may be calculated iteratively or recursively. Iteratively means to calculate from the bottom up. For example, we might start with a zero and then use that to calculate a one and then use that to calculate a two and then so on up to our desired term a n. In a recursive calculation, we'll calculate from the top down, starting at our desired term a n, and then applying the recursion until we arrive at the given values of the sequence. Let's try using the Fibonacci sequence. Remember the Fibonacci sequence is defined where the terms are the sum of the prior two terms. The first two terms are 0 and 1. So we want to calculate f6 iteratively. We're going to start at f0 which is 0 by definition. f1 is 1 by definition. And then f2, applying the recurrence, is f1 plus f0. So 0 plus 1 is 1, so f2 is 1. f3 is f2 plus f1, which is 1 plus 1, or 2. f4 is f3 plus f2, which is 2 plus 1 or 3. f5 is f4 plus f3, which is 3 plus 2 or 5. And f6 is f5 plus f4, which is 5 plus 3 or 8. Notice that the iterative calculation is simpler uh, in terms of computation, but it does require us to store all of the values of the Fibonacci sequence. Next, let's see the recursive calculation. Uh, so these calculations are going to be a little more complicated, but if we're thinking from the point of view of the computer, they save on computation space. So in the recursive calculation, we start with f6, which is equal by definition to f5 plus f4. Then we apply the recursion again, turning f5 into f4 plus f3, and f4 into f3 plus f2. At this point, we may choose to regroup our terms. So we get f4 plus 2f3 plus f2. Then f4 is f3 plus f2. f3 is f2 plus f1 and f2 is f1 plus f0. Again, we can regroup, so we get f3 plus 3f2 plus 3f1 plus f0. Then we have f2 plus f1 plus 3 times f1 plus f0. And then there's nowhere else to go for f1 and f0, so we just copy those down. We can regroup again if we like, f2 plus 7f1 plus 4f0. f2 is f1 plus f0. And then finally, we have 8f1 plus 5f0. Since f0 is 0 and f1 is 1, we plug those in to get that f6 is 8. Notice that our recursive value better match our iterative value. 